This video is a disassembly of a SureFlow 4008 series pump. Um, this is the 4008-101-F65. If yours is an E65 or an A65, they're all very similar. I believe the F65 designation refers to um, some of the connections it has that the others may not. Uh, this came out of a 2014 Winnebago motorhome, Class C. Uh, before you start, it's always smart to take a picture of your connections before you start taking things apart. So uh, the black wire here uh, goes to this connection, and that is the top one. And then the other red wire here just goes to the bottom. So we're just going to remove those first. The wires are removed. The next step would be to take out, this is a little uh, filter here. So uh, water direction, I don't know if you can see the arrow, goes that way in the pump. So if it's sitting on the ground like that, water goes in to this plastic reservoir and then is strained through this little metal filter inside. So I'm going to take this apart, clean that out. Sometimes you get junk floating around in there and that's, that's good. It means it's doing its job cleaning out your fresh water tank water before it gets sucked into the pump. So let's do that next. So that just unscrews. You can take out uh, this whole thing and just rinse it out with some water. Make sure there's nothing nothing in there, no junk floating around. And it's always good to run a finger. Ooh, look at that. I got some yuckiness on the inside. So just clean that out with a toothbrush or something. Next up is to remove the pumping part of the pump away from the motor. So this half is the motor. We're going to remove all of these big screws along the edge. The screws are now removed. When it comes time to reassemble this, a lot of people recommend um, doing opposite sides, hand tightening it, and then uh, bearing down with the screwdriver. Uh, that way it ensures an, an even, snug fit in all directions. We're going to take this off now. On the inside, you should have some water that spills out. Um, the problem I was having was that water was backflowing through the pump into the fresh water tank of the RV. And the... Um, Sometimes that can be caused by debris in the pump, so I'm going to take this all apart and clean it. Uh, this assembly, you just have to snug off. The black separates from that kind of yellowish color. Uh, you want to make sure you go through here with a soft bristled brush and just gently clean any buildup or residue that's in there. Um, you can also just use like a high pressure from your sink to get it off. This also comes apart. Um, I don't actually need to take this off though, so I'm going to leave that on for now. One of the potential causes for my particular problem of water getting back through the pump is the water pressure at the campsites was too great. It was pushing back into the pump here and it was forcing its way through this check valve. This is the location of the check valve inside the pump housing. It's a spring mounted little button there. Um, if you can take that apart and clean it, that's great. You got to remove all these screws. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to brush it out. Um, at the beginning of this video, I pressed it and it was a little stiff, but as you can see, it's moving now. Sometimes if a little bit of debris gets through your strainer into the pump, through the pump, and gets caught in the check valve, that allows a little gap of water to come back in and then go back through to your fresh water tank. All right, change of plans. We're gonna take it apart anyway. It's these three screws, I could not get a brush in there to my satisfaction. So we're gonna take that apart. This whole back comes off. You wanna make sure you don't lose your spring when you open it up. And don't lose any O-rings. Take this all out. I'm gonna give it a good scrub down before putting it back together and then testing it. Okay, so I just took a toothbrush, scrubbed along the edges. Um, anytime you take it apart in an old pump, you should replace all the O-rings, and I don't have any spares. Uh, so I'm just taking the time to make sure I go around and use some some warm water and a toothbrush and just scrub all the, the surfaces I can. Uh, you should do that to the inside of this if there's any buildup in there, and you should, I already mentioned, wash this off as best as you can. Well, I've reassembled it uh, and tested it, and unfortunately, cleaning it out did not solve my problem. So I'm going to have to buy another check valve, which is available on Amazon. I tested this by, once again, flow goes that direction, blowing into this and see if you hear any air come back through here. You should not be feeling that much air come through. 
please. Yeah, that's that's a lot. Okay, so uh, I guess I'm gonna have to buy a new check valve. Uh, another option is you get a separate check valve um, and you put it on the outside, the side, the direction of the water going. Screw that on tight. Um, I bought this one off of Amazon for like ten dollars, and this was not a good choice. I hooked it all up, put all the tape on, reassembled everything, and the amount of pressure required to get through that valve was just too great for the pump. So the pump was struggling to push water out, and once a little bit of water came through, it would cut off right away. And then it would start again and stop again and start again and stop again. So I think what I'm going to do is buy another one made by Camco, which attaches to this side, but you have to be careful. Look at the direction of flow on this. So this one I bought will not match up. It has to either buy adapters or just a separate piece. I bought this one because ideally you don't want your check valve on the freshwater tank side because when the pump activates, it's having to suck water through something that has a slight resistance at the beginning. It's like sucking water through a pinched straw. It's, you don't want to give it any more work than it has to do. So that's why I tried to get one for the output side. Um, but again, I, this one didn't work for me. Maybe you can find one that works for you. I'll try and find another one that works for me. The last thing I'll say in this video is that I saw one other video where a gentleman mentioned that you might be able to adjust the flow rate of the pump by using an Allen wrench in that or that. And I haven't tried it yet. But he did it on the video, and you could hear the pitch of the pump sounded different. Uh, when he started, his whole RV was shaking because of the water hammering. Uh, but when he adjusted it, it sounded a little bit more smooth. So I might try that too.